Welcome everybody to the Department of Simulation at Pima Community College. I will be giving you a tour today of the Simulation Room 111. I'm your host Carl Binger and here we go with our tour. You'll enter from the hallway into the Simulation Bay. And upon entering we do have hand sanitizer there, but we also have a sink with soap and water and paper towels to do your hand hygiene. We also have a PPE cart for any PPE that you may need. Right inside the door there is a telephone that you can call a physician for orders if you need it. When you use this telephone, please use the speaker button. Push the speaker button and dial the phone number that is on your screen. In this room, you will dial 3114. And your resource will pick up. Okay, when you are done, you'll just hit the speaker button. Please do not pick up the handset as nobody in the other rooms will be able to hear you. Okay? Moving on, in the room, we have your patient. Your patient will be here. You have a blood pressure cuff on the left arm. There is a green dot here to signal that that is the best spot to listen to the blood pressure. I do require you to find the blood pressure and come up with a value. In his right arm, there is an IV catheter. It's an 18 gauge in his right antecubital. If you have medications to give by IV means, morphine, Zofran, things like that, by all means, you can push your medications in the IV. It is set up to receive medications, so we can try to make it as realistic as possible. Also with the patient is the patient monitor. With the patient monitor, there is three lead heart monitoring and also his pulse oximeter. When you will place these on the patient, your three lead ECG will show up and your pulse oximetry will show up. Until that point, it will not show up. On your patient, he does have a space here. Sometimes this flap is over it. You hook up your three lead there on that shoulder and also down on the abdominal area. So when you hook it up to your patient, it will come up on your screen. Also, if needed, we have different um, things that you might need for your patient care. In the top, you'll see dressing change material. Down below it, you'll see there's pillows, your sharps container, there's alcohol prep pads, if you are going to give a medication sub Q or IM, there is a dot there for you to use. You place that on your patient and give them their injection. And there is an incentive barometer if needed. Here in this drawer, you will find your glucometer, your thermometer. So if you want a temperature on your patient to come up on your monitor, please rub that across their forehead. And also there is 
some cold packs or heat packs if you need it for your patient condition. Next to that is respiratory supplies. Nasal cannula, simple mask, non-rebreather, nebulizer, and venti masks. With your oxygen supplies, if you need to use it, our oxygen, medical air, and suction do work. So the tubing is a little tight for a mannequin. So I have put on an extension tubing that you can use to get to your patient to get the mask to fit right or the nasal cannula. And then turn on your oxygen to the desired level. And please tell me how much oxygen you are using so I know how to change the patient's scenario for you. Now we talked about giving IV medications. And out here in this front room, by the sink, is our Pixis station. By tapping the screen, you will get your login. And to the right of the screen, underneath the scanner, is the login information. To go further in depth on how to use the PIX machine, please visit the YouTube channel for PCC Department of Simulation and view the tutorial on the PIXIS machine. Now, if you have medications, by all means, please give them. PO medications, you can open up the medication and put them in medication cups if you want to. Please, I'm trying to make simulation as realistic as possible. So go ahead and open up the medications, that is fine. This, starting this semester, we're going to start documenting simulations in real time. So also in the room, you will find a wow. This wow will ha be logged in for you. You will just have to log into your DocuCare. You can document real time. You will be required to document your medications in real time as well. Please see the Department of Simulation YouTube page and see how to document your medications in real time. If for some reason something goes bad with your patient and they require a rapid response or a code blue you can call it overhead and here is your code cart fully stocked and ready to go if you call a rapid response or a code team I will come in to assist you and we'll go through it This concludes the tutorial or tour of the simulation room, room 111. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me, Carl Binger at cbinger, B-I-N-G-E-R, at pima.edu. Or you can find me down in the sim lab most Monday through Fridays. I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, reach out to me, and we'll see you in simulation.